Today, we're putting together a battery pack using a PCB. That's right. As part of the research and development series, I wanted to tackle one of the prototypes idea that I've been having for the last couple of weeks, and it's based on a PCB design that I did. And the whole purpose around this is to be able to make faster battery packs. Now, let me show you a little something. This little holes over here are actually where you put the BMS on it. We are going to solder the little fuse cable that we're gonna use just to connect the battery because that's the fastest way that I could possibly come out with. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep the board. We're gonna put solder on every single part of it. So now that my board has solder on them, we're gonna get ready and add the little cable that I'm gonna be using as a connection. Now that I have my parallel packs ready, all we have to do is put it together in a series. Now all I have to do is come over here and start putting together this pack. All I have to do now is finish up the connection of the BMS to the PC board. And it's as easy as just pass them through little holes that I pre-designed over here. And just like that, we have a battery pack. Right now I have many ideas for the future concept of this PCB thing. Being able to just place something in it and start welding it down it's it's amazing you know so now the moment of truth that i know some of you are just waiting for this dremel it's 1.2 amps at maximum speed let's see let me just see what happens Everything seems to be working. That's what it seems. That got really loud. Um, I'm amazed what just happened. You know, um, it feels amazing. Uh, let me let me try to get something else because I, I just feel like I'm not doing a proper test. I, I'll be right back. I went out and got me. My drill. This one is rated for 6.2 amps. That is six times the amount of energy that I'm able to pull with that Dremel. Okay, 0.2. I just pulled 1.5 amps. Let me just show you that. You can see, 1.5. And I just broke something. So I thought that I broke the, the battery pack, but no. It looks like just the inverter couldn't handle the amount of energy that this drill needed. So basically, it's still running. It's, so many so 
I I just feel amazed, you know, with we turn on a Dremel, we turn on a, a, a drill. That's just one pack. I normally use four of them. This little thing, um, I'm just, you know, I'm 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 blown away. I I didn't have much expectation, especially when a lot of people in the DIY Power Walls group on Facebook were telling me, you know what, those little traces they're not gonna handle that much power. And as you can see, we were able to run a Dremel and a drill. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give away two samples. So for you to win this one, one of those samples, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment on this video. We are going to draw the winners of the PCB samples next week. Like always, God bless you guys. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think because I think this is the future and I really love the idea. You know, this little pack right here and I'm looking over and there's not even one trace is like, you know, pop open or anything. Everything is working the way it's supposed to. I really like the concept and I just, I, I you know, you know what, just go. Let me know what you guys think and I'll be doing a live stream soon enough to talk about this. God bless you guys. See you later. Bye.